two charges. They're actually the same charges uh, in the same location as in previous problem, in problem number one. And the question says, find the electric potential at this location, which is a different location with respect to infinity. So let's draw the picture. So here I have a negative five nanocoulombs. And then here I have a four nanocoulombs charge. And this is 0.4 meters on the y axis. And I want to find the potential at 0 0.3, 0 0.3 right there. So let's just put, um, that's fine. This is 0 0.3, 0 0.30 meters in that point. So how do I find the electric potential? Um, so the potential with respect to infinity is equal to K times Q divided by R. Right. That's it. It's where R is the scalar distance. Okay. So if I have two charges, V total, this will call one and that call two. Did I call it backwards or the way? I can't remember. So V equals V1 plus V2. I just need to add up the potentials. So to do that, let's start with V2. The first thing I need is this R. So R for that one's pretty easy. I need the, I need the magnitude. So R2 is going to be equal to the vector 0.3, 0, 0.30, so the, that's a vector. So the magnitude of that is going to be equal to the square root of 0.3 squared plus 0.3 squared plus 0 squared. Okay, so let's just get that value just for fun. This is R2. So I'm going to say 0.3 enter squared. Now I have two of them, so 2 times, and then take the square root. And I get 0.424 meters. So now I can go ahead and calculate V2. V2 is going to be K, which is 9 times 10 to the 9th, times Q, which is negative 5 times 10 to the negative 9th, divided by 0.424. Now, I'm going to do a trick here. If I have 10 to the 9th times 10 to the negative 9th, that's, that's just 1. Okay, so I don't have to, I can just say 5 times negative 5, actually, which is going to be negative 45, divided by... 0.424, and now I'll put that in my calculator. You can do it the other way if you want. It doesn't matter. 45.424 divided by, and I get 106.1 volts. That's Q V2. Now for V1, I need to find this distance, this vector, R1. So R1 is going to be the final position of 0.3, 0.3, zero minus initial position. Where does this one start? Well, that's going to be equal to the vector zero, zero point four zero. So when I subtract those, I get 0.3 minus zero, which is 0.3. I get 0.3 minus 0.4, which is negative 0.10. Now I need to find the magnitude of that vector. The magnitude of R1 is going to be the square root of 0.3 squared plus, I'll put it, negative point. 0.1 squared, just to be clear, and the plus 0 squared. So let's put that in there. I get uh, 0.3 enter squared, 0.1 squared, and yes, you could do this uh, without that. Add those together, and then take the square root. And I get 0.316 meters. So now I can calculate V2. I don't need components. I don't need the unit vector. Potential is a scalar value. It's much easier. So V1 is going to be 9 times 10 to the 9th times 4 times 10 to the negative 9th, negative 9th, all of that over 0.316. So again, these turn 9, 10 to the 9th times 10 to the negative 9th is 1. So I get 9 times 4, which is, wow, 9 times 18, 36, right? Wow, I just blinked out there. 9, enter, 4 times, yeah, I was right. And divide by 0 0.316, divide by, and I get 113.9 volts. So now the total is going to be this plus that. Oh, wait, that's negative. Okay, so now I get this, and I'm going to subtract 106. 0.1 minus, and I get 7.82 volts. So 
in in a way this was more difficult than the previous problem because i didn't have the uh, point that i was interested in on the x-axis uh, but i didn't have to find components because it was adding potentials which is a scalar the end